Sun Moon and hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So, social media user by the name of Samaglesi Wemte Gutabete came out and accused, or rather claimed, some major celebrities are involved in cults. So first, his statement was on 2nd August 2021, just a few days before famous Amapiano piano artist passed away. So he said in a quote, South African celebrities are dying like flies ever since they started mingling with Nigerian artists. Guess what? More of them will follow after Shona. Another young man in the music industry will die soon. He is currently doing Ama Piano as well. They join things they don't understand these ones. All for money. Well, they will keep on dying, but at least most of you have no idea what is going on. They will be rich, but they will die young. Now, you also continued by saying, yes, they will buy Bentleys, but they will die without even enjoying their wealth. Ngoba baya pa, pa, meaning they are too forward. When you see them mingling with Nigerian artists, example, aka Benaboy, Casper, Debanch, etc. Bonang, Debanch, vocalist is now doing it with Davido. They're actually being introduced into the cult. You saw how drastic Casper's life changed financially after that friendship. Well, watch and enjoy the show. Baya Papa. And designer asked, where is Fison Where is Ulundi? Where is Mendoza? And he responded and said, those ones get theirs here in South Africa, Zimbabwe, and Mozambique. But well, Rebecca is there too. Unfortunately, not everyone is lucky and not everyone will be consistent. Zola once said that they once approached him, the rulers of SA Media, and he refused to join. Guess what happened to him after that? He has been struggling up to this day. No TV gigs just dry and he also said that so now twitter people say i edited this post i am a false prophet Yebana. ah now guys of course a lot of people you know have been very vocal of how south african celebrities have now adapted that a new culture of joining in order to succeed and make money in the industry in exchange of their souls and of course perform some rituals in the process given it's uh, signs you know sacrificing someone who's very dear to you now gospel singer dr Tumi also did come out and say um they approached him and offered him 13 million rands and of course fortune and fame if he joins the secret society which is illuminati now guys most of people do get it confused when it comes to cults or traditional cults versus illuminati it's basically the same thing guys the only difference is the type of rituals performed but it's the same thing you sell your soul to the devil but do i believe that some of the celebrities some gelo mentioned are involved absolutely guys we live in a very um dark times and just because some something is flashy on the outside it doesn't mean that that person is not involved in such things so guys be very careful not to envy people's success because you don't know the sacrifice behind it but honestly some people truly do work for their lavish lifestyle so it's very possible to be successful without giving your soul to the devil Anyway, guys, do let me know what you think about this whole thing at the comment section below. If you did find this video informative, please make sure you do give it a huge thumbs up. As for me, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I'm signing out, so I'll see you next time.